Hello and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor and uh, in this section we're going to talk about uh, something near and dear to my heart. You know we've been talking a lot about capacitors and electricity lately. In this section we're going to talk uh, specifically about electric current and what we call current density. So we'll give a lecture in this section, kind of tell you what it's about, give you some great examples of what it is and in the next section we'll tackle some problems to give you some practice in actually using the, the ideas and the equations. So we all have an idea of what electric current is, right? We've been around that all of our life. You all know that you have to have a complete circuit for you know, electric uh, current to basically exist and to propagate. So you have a battery usually or a wall socket or something providing electricity, right? And it goes out through the wire and it comes back around the other side. So you know it's the movement of something and I think most of you, probably everybody knows it's the movement of electrons. It's really and truly what is flowing around the wire, right? The electrons are the guys zipping around. So what we want to do is define that a little bit more mathematically in terms of physics, give you an idea what it is, and then give you some more insight into how to use those concepts. So what we have, what we're talking about, is electric current. So you know it's the flow of something, or it's the rate of change of something. It's how fast the uh, electrons are moving, so to speak, right? It's not really exactly what it, what it is, but when you think of the word, you think of the movement of electrons. So it turns out that you can define the electric current. We use the symbol I. Uh, you would think a current would be C or something like that, but because of current and the letter C, but capacitance we use for C. So you're just going to have to get used to electric current being I. So get used to that. Uh, the way we define it is the rate of change of charge, Q is charge, we've always used the letter Q for charge, with respect to time. This is in a nutshell how you define electric current. Now it turns out you don't really use this definition too much because most of the time when you're talking about current you're usually talking about a circuit and so you're doing circuit analysis, you're not really usually diving down into what the electrons are really doing on a one-on-one on -on -one basis. But fundamentally, this is really what current is. It is the flow of electrons, or the, in more general terms, it's the flow of some charged particles. They have to be moving. If they're not moving, you don't have any current. You know, if you have a stationary charge, we've talked about this all the time, if you have a stationary charge, an electric field does exist, right? It exists, permeates space around it. But you don't have any electricity, so to speak. You don't have any electric uh, current flowing. So for that to happen, they have to be moving. And that's why it's dq dt, the rate of change of charge with respect to time. So either charge is going to be flowing into something or out of something, and so that charge is going to be changing. And that's why we define it this way. So uh, this is the, just to kind of give you a little bit more, this is the change in charge through a plane in a given time. All right, and the units of electric charge, or electric current, I should say, the units is the ampere. And so you've heard of amps, right? I have a 5 amp circuit breaker, I have a 10 amp circuit breaker. That means that circuit breaker can take 5 amps before it pops open, or it can take 10 amps. But what is an ampere? Um, one ampere, which is A, one amp is usually how you say it, is just equal to one coulomb per second. What do you think coulomb is? Remember that? We've talked about, been talking about coulombs forever. Coulomb is just a unit of charge. So you have an electron, it has a teeny tiny amount of coulombs that we associated with it, right?